Final call of the night. Final call. Final call. Best show. Hi, it's Fred from Honolulu. No, this is not Fred from Honolulu. I know who I this is. I was told that's a prank, Tom. That was a is. prank. No, this is fraud from uh, Los Angeles. No, it's it's Andy Kindler. Oh, it is not. I'm here to bring. I'm here to bring it home, Tom. Let me bring it home. You're gonna just. We're gonna punch it into the end zone. We're in the oh. red zone right now, right? Oh it's like, man, uh, are you talking about with the old VU meters or the uh, digital? We're talking okay. about with football. Obviously. We're talking about that old pigskin, right? We're gonna punch ah. it in. Hey, who is ready for the football? This is some of my old uh, uh, Hank Williams Jr. material. <laughs> you're old. You're old. Now, was this material pro Hank Williams Jr. or? Anthony? Yeah, I was like, come on, the guy has an opinion. So what? Like, what's the big deal? What would you play? What about this bill? What about this? If it was called, if it was called uh, Mar, Mar, Mar Kindler, right? Oh, I love it! I love it! I love it! And it's you, you know, and Bill Maher every night. Free speech. Free speech, baby. And he goes, Andy, come on. Let's be honest. <laughs> do you do you like his lip smacks? I, 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 can't, I don't watch smacks. that. I haven't watched that guy in five years. God knows why I, I you're ha- still watching. God knows why you're still watch watching. It. I had to watch it because Milo was. I, I don't want to talk I about it, Andy. Watch- I'm not. I'm not. I can't. I can't. Please, I've had a hard oh, enough. Gonna, I've had a hard enough. Oh, we're going to do it. Oh, we're going. We're going there. No, Tom. We're oh, not, oh, we're tr- oh. trust me. We're not. We're not going there. You can. Oh yeah. You can, go, you can go there. You can go there. I've had a bad enough night and a bad enough. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, whatever. Stretch right now. I'm not. I'm not going there. But you. Did you like? I brought did you it like up. My Tom. Did you like my Tommy Stenson joke? Very funny. I did. Yes, I did. You're. You're. You're you're right on it, and I knew I should have taken. I knew I should have taken out a page out of your book. I should have had on uh, Brett Midland or who, someone like that, who, and to get one of your fellas on, right, John Densmore, right. Well, I. So in other words, you don't want me to. You don't want me to get up all, all up in your grill. Is what I'm getting from you, right? Don't I get don't up all want- in your grill. This is what we miss for. This is what we we miss from you, and the, the, I think I speak for all the fans. We miss that that lovable Andy Kindler. The right. before you were uh, you just can't you smile more, Andy? What happened to your smile? You <laughs> lost true. your smile. I want you to go find your smile, like City Slickers. <laughs> what if you finally, could... What if it meant you literally went on some like r- ranch thing like that, like I. I couldn't imagine it. I couldn't imagine. Uh, first of all, I could never say dude ranch under any circumstances. God, I am weak. I've got weak material for my Tom. No, no, I want to say, and I want to say this. First of all, I want to say this. First of all, to to whoever's out there in in the the in the, in the, in the uh, to see so or any of these people to. What happened to the to the the, the Andy Kindler uh, all the world's a stage? I thought we had something hot oh, with that. You got me so pumped up with that. All the world's a stage. I'm telling you, I they heard. I heard. Too expensive. I, they said. I too heard. I heard there were meetings being held about it. There were meetings being held about well, all the Andy Kindler. I pitched, it with, hy- I pitched it with hydraulics, and they were like, "No, it's got to be stationary." There's a lot of money involved. For you to do the thing with the yeah, but yes. look, it can be Too simple. Expensive. It can be simple. We just roll the stage and then some chairs and some some of those little club tables, those cheap club tables. Those are the smallest <laughs> tables in the world, right? What what is that? That's like bar. They're like weightlifting equipment turned sideways, right? <laughs> like how did they? Them. How did they come up with that? Where they're just like, hey, what if um, we need four people to sit around this table? How big should the table be? I don't know, eight inches uh, in <laughs> diameter? That doesn't even fit uh, the two drinks you have to pay for. Yeah, it's four yeah. people. Well, they can hold them in their lap, right? They can hold yeah. the drinks in their lap while they pay $28 each drink. Um, but then when they go there, they get quality entertainment like Andy Kindler, right? <laughs> Hey, let me ask you a question. They could put a guy in the moon, but how come they can't make those tables not wobble? Who's with me on that, right? Uh, the tables are wobble. I gotta put a, I gotta put a, 
uh, a sausage underneath one of the legs. No, wait, you said something tonight that you were going to put under a leg. Yeah, Tommy are Stinson gonna... album. Uh, <laughs> a cutout. Yeah, cutout. Oh, call, callbacks. Callbacks. Yeah, it, call. it is. It's like it's being at the, you think I'm at the UCB theater right now. <laughs> yeah. Do you um, want to end with a big ha- a Harold? It does with feel Harold. like a Harold. It does feel like something where somebody would go, man, man, Tommy Stinson, and then walk in front of everybody, and then everybody would start clapping. <laughs> My favorite. Was that? Right? Isn't that how it would end? But you know what? <laughs> People should know that with you, it don't end neat. <laughs> <laughs> Even when the show's over, you can still hear me performing. <laughs> There's just a point where someone goes, he's done, he's done doing the show for a, he's going to keep doing that. Right. What he's doing now, we're just going to take the mic from him now. You can <laughs> you can keep following him and get more of it. Right. But he's just not going to do it on our stage with our microphone anymore, everyone. But it keeps going because that's my new uh my new podcast is uh 24/7. It's uh Andy, coming out. I just constantly have a tape recorder on all the time. I think that would be uh if if there was an Andy Kindler 24/7, that would be to me, a dream come true. Where if well, the the, the next uh, the next season's coming out. It's called Spring. <laughs> oh no! no. Uh, so what, if, what if <clears throat> you know when people? Uh, what if you like so, like you said you're going to heaven and you know like you see the light? You know, they say they show you the light, right? And you're like, no. I see the light, and then it turns out they're just flashing the light at you to like wrap <laughs> it up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what it would be, and the, you know what it seems to me today, Tom. The kids mm-hmm. today, they don't even use a. When I started, they used a flashlight or a kerosene lamp yeah. to signal you to stop. Yeah. Now, now they, they hold a phone. They up. just use an app, a yeah. flashlight app. Yeah, yeah. Now they hold up a flashlight app. But seriously, yeah. let's get more. Let's get more in depth on the stand-up comedian experience because if there's one thing America can't get enough of is the is the inner workings of oh. one, of one profession. Inside people love inside baseball, but yeah, no. This is this is at this point the stand-up comedian things. They're not inside baseball anymore. That's it's right. Like, Everybody knows. Yeah, it's like you're so far. It's so far past inside baseball. It's like it's like <laughs> man, it's a show about a stand-up who's trying. To, it's like okay, look, I love <laughs> comedy so much. I don't need the eighth show about the inner workings of. But then I was on the thing, and I was middling, and then I got, okay, all right. But then the check <laughs> drop happened when I was in the middle of my uh, clothes. It's like, oh, oh. No, but you people co- don't understand. It's, I'm a truth teller. I'm up there. I'm telling truth. And, and I'm, like, oh, I'm not a civilian up there doing It's like, oh. So I do co-headlining jokes. You know what I mean. I love it if it's a thing. Crop material. But that's why all that's why Andy Kindler's All the World's the Stage would be so different. Because it would be it would be you just doing the show, just doing the comedy. Not about there would be no black and white behind the no. scenes thing of just you back going like, Oh boy, I'm getting ready to go out there. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm getting ready. It's like and I'm not even putting that down, but we've seen it already. <laughs> I don't Oh wait, oh so there's a stage? Oh wait, so there's a back area behind the stage? Because I thought the performers all sat in their cars until they had to go on and somebody would come on and knock on their windshield and tell them to come on inside the club. Wait, there's a show backstage a sh- where everybody goofs around? Show within a show. Show within yeah. a show. You gotta understand you backstage is where show. the real show happens. That's right. That's where the you know, comics are funniest in the green room. They're the funniest in yeah. the green room. Yeah, the green That's room. That's where they're hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Paul prevents a Paul. Paul prevents a green a green room show. Right? <laughs> I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul, oh imagine? God! One of these days we have to do an anger off. Me and you with an anger you off. You want to know what, Andy? Yeah. Let's do that. We'll do. We'll set a time limit on it. It'll be a fifteen <laughs> minute. It'll be a fifteen minute un. Bridled rage, just rage, where the two of us will just go at top speed, venting <laughs> about everything, and then as soon as it's over, 
we can't do it anymore. That's right. The bitter, as soon as you know, and, and to the point where the bitterness overwhelms the humor completely. Oh yeah, no, yeah. That, that was I thought that, that'd be the starting point. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Oh, no, great. Yeah. yeah, let's give well, him a show too. Let's give yeah, let's give him a people. third show now. That's great. Okay. Oh, we got tall people. Give the tall guy a show. Great. Yeah, it's not great. Oh, it's a show. He's a he's a bad comedian though. Okay. Uh, it's a, what's a different look? Okay. Yeah. He's a bad uh, that's, a, that's an interesting now. angle on the whole thing. Oh, great. Okay, yeah. He's eating pizza. Yeah, it's a show. He's eating, eating, eating. And look. We wish everybody the best. We wish we? everybody the best. We really do. <laughs> we wish. No, I wish nothing but success for everyone out there. Everyone listening to this and everybody not listening to this. There's enough room in show business. I hope we all right. can have a, our own little piece of it and carve it out and make everyone smile and have a grand old time because that's what we're all here. We're in the, the department store of life, guys. We're just living in the toy aisle. We're just living hop in the... In, hop in. The, uh, the rejection is warm. I don't know. That was weak. <laughs> plenty of room. There's plenty of room at the end. <laughs> in my new show comedy barn comedy barn andy kindler's comedy barn comedy barn like hee-haw meets hee-haw well i'm gonna say this <laughs> if there was yeah. any way to do just straight up andy kindler's hee-haw would be the funniest show <laughs> imaginable just you behind the corn with the cornfield prop in the background you're you're leaning across a bale of hay with a a lady in a skimpy milkmaid outfit telling her a joke that, thanks ellie may ellie may yeah if you're just talking about like the griddle and fixins and and all the stuff like you you know you're, you're just talking about down home cooking and all this stuff right Andy Kimmler's yeah. dinner bell, and it's you oh. ling a ling a ling a ling a ling, right? <laughs> like you you ring that dinner bell. Hey, yeah. let's go after the comedy trough right now. Yeah. Let's go. Let's who's over comedy at the comedy? Trough. Let's see who's at the comedy trough tonight. Oh, it's Chris D'Elia. Give me a big. We got Chris D'Elia big... is at the comedy trough tonight. What's up, Chris? Strap on the feed bags. Chris yeah. D'Elia is over at the comedy trough tonight. Who's over at? Let's uh. And let's go over to the uh, comedy trough. See who we got right now here. Uh, who who is this uh, over here? Oh, it's exciting. Uh, t Tim Allen dropped in at the comedy trough tonight. It's Henry Cho. It's Henry Cho. <laughs> it's, uh, Henry Cho. It's all of the uh, all of the uh, the comedians. What are they called again? The 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 blue collar thing. Right? Blue collar comedian. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love the idea. The blue collar comedians. Meanwhile, uh, one's jet is bigger than the next, right? These guys, uh, these guys, all have private jets. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If you could pretend that you are a down home, yeah, country boy, yeah. then you just might be a blue collar comedian. Yeah. If your jet, if they <laughs> delay, if they cancel all the flights out of Teterboro because you've decided at the last minute to go back. And do some casino shows in Connecticut, you just might be a blue collar comedian. <laughs> if you do three and a half years of commercials for a buffet, yeah. you just might be Jeff Foxworthy. Could you imagine eating the food at that place? Could you imagine? No, he's not. So, he's not I don't think he's on there. I'm, I'm worried. Did they replace him? I don't see him on there. Well, you know what? It's kind of a it's kind of a great thing they do is where you eat at that place and then you get heartburn and then you take the Larry the Cable Guy medicine. That hey, he you, sells. You, have try, you know what I say, Tom? Take you have to take Prilosec an hour before seeing Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> but no, when, when you take the they, with Larry the Cable Guy, they say take two Prilosec and put them in your ears. <laughs> <laughs> Poor seeing Larry the Cable Guy. Oh. <laughs> so, Andy, you, yes. thank you so much for calling, buddy. I love you. I love, I love you, too. You, I'll man. talk to you later. You have a right, grand cool. evening. All right. You, Bye. too. Be cool, man. Bye-bye. Be cool. I like that.